Hey there guys, I have literally just completed my last ever day at Dante Alighieri and my last ever day formally properly learning Italian at a school as part of my Italian in five months challenge. It's very weird that a, that a five month endeavour has uh, just come to an end there just by me going to school, uh, doing a quick test. We've been acting out for days, nothing to deny. Oh wow, this is... This is actually surprisingly similar to what I expected. Ciao Fabio, cosa pensi? È bellissima. È senza dubbio la stanza più bella che ho visto qui a Raganati. Who should it be pondering and looking out the window for our very own Esther? Who scored more than you in the exam? Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> photos here and it's actually all just got a little bit, a little bit totes emotion. Lots of people are leaving right now. Marina is crying. Come stai bella? such a nice way to, to end it. I really can't believe that. That was so lovely. So I'm just heading home now because I've actually got quite a significant amount of admin general faff to do. The first thing that I've got to do is pack all of my bags and stuff, which I don't think will be too much of a hassle. Oh God, this is actually a nightmare. And then I'm going to catch up with uh, everybody else from the course because we're going to go out for some drinks tonight to celebrate and hopefully it won't get too messy. <laughs> that uh, escalated more than I expected. I'm gonna have to wake up at about half six, I think, to get the bus. I can just feel the beginning of my hangover coming on now. I have to then change and get a train to Ancona. So the train I was supposed to be getting from Ancona is now apparently fully booked. So we're gonna have to find another solution to get to Bologna in time for three. And from Bologna, I get a bus to the airport. So I've got a pretty stressful sort of 24 hours coming up really. Lots of planes, trains and automobiles and at the end of it I am certain that I'm the main thing I'm going to need is like a cup of tea and a sit down. All right, I am back. So let's talk about the trip and I want to talk about all five months. So the three months starting off in Bologna, uh, one month traveling from Rome through to Puglia and then finally one month in Recanati. So the first big question is, Tom, you did a series called Fluent in Five Months. Are you fluent in the five months? It's a little bit hard to say. I think the answer is probably kind of. So let's go through the four main language skills. Um, reading is, I think, really good for me in Italian. I'm on the fourth Harry Potter book and about halfway through it. Um, listening is kind of like reading, but like with your ears. And I find that's also fine. Whenever I'm in a conversation, I can understand like 90% of what's said to me. Writing I think is kind of also fine. I think I need a little bit of time maybe to consult a dictionary or something or to double check that grammar rule, but I'm pretty happy that I could write a reasonably long letter without worrying about completely embarrassing myself. And then finally it's speaking, which is conspicuous in having been left to the end. And I think my problem is that lack of spontaneity and flow in my spoken because it really is where you feel the pressure the most. It's not like, writing where you can just wait a second, Google it, write it down. There's like a group of people looking at you like, go on then, conjugate that. <laughs> and it's like, I just feel under so much pressure. So ultimately this all adds up to me trying to sort of artificially lubricate a conversation, like keep things going, even though I'm speaking Italian and I'm not 100% confident in it, I use tricks to try and keep myself going, to keep the conversation flowing. The first one is be a bit tipsy. 
always makes life a lot easier. The second one is use simple words to explain yourself and simple phrases. Don't say that something is magnificent when you can just say good. And the third thing is, if you do need to use more complex phrases, then I tend to just have some vaguely appropriate ones that I have memorized that I can just use and I can like use as my starting point for a sentence. So yeah, all of this works to make me appear fluent and well, fluent in the sense of being able to have a flowing conversation, yes. Um, but with a much more boring version of me that might be a little bit drunk and um, uses really simple words. I think long story short, Yes, I am fluent in Italian, but only the boring version of me. The project now is to make Italian me as cool and interesting as the English version. <laughs> if such a thing could be said about English me. So that is my next objective with Italian. Um, but let's talk a little bit about how I got here over the last five months. I think the first question here is how hard is Italian? And I have to say that out of all the languages that I have learned, it is probably the least complex language that I've learned. Not to say that it's easy, there, there is complexity that exists in the language, but that complexity is not a game changer, it's not really, really hard. Um, but like all languages, there are frustrating things that you have to learn. And I think the three things I found most difficult in Italian was probably um, the conjunctive, which is a bit frustrating because you learn all the grammar tenses and then the teacher turns up one day and says, congratulations, you've learned all the grammar tenses apart from conjunctive, which is all of them all over again in a slightly different way. <laughs> so that's a little bit frustrating when they come in one day and tell you that. The second thing is uh, hypothetical times, which involves using a combination of the conjunctive stuff you've just learned and some tenses you learned previously to create um, hypotheses. And that's probably not as hard, but it's just a little bit of juggling that I sometimes find um, difficult to do on the fly. The final thing that was a bit tricky was the pronunciation. Um, Italian is, and don't get me wrong, Italian is brilliant for pronunciation. There are a few rules that you have to learn, but outside of that, you say every letter that's written down, unlike French, and the pronunciation is always the same no matter where the letter is in the word, unlike English. <laughs> But the pronunciation is very specific and because there's a low number of rules, I found myself um, forgetting them, if that makes sense. But don't let any of those negative things put you off because Italian is a great language for beginners and in fact, it is the most studied language in the world um, for pleasure. And that means that the people that you find, in my experience, in the language schools are really open, really friendly, they don't have any sort of desire just to knuckle down and, well, they do have a desire to knuckle down and work, but they're also up for like enjoying themselves, exploring the cities and just having fun with it. Which brings me neatly on to Italy in general, um, which was just absolutely incredible. I think you go with this sort of slightly stereotypical view of Italians getting up late, having coffee, hanging out, eating pasta, pizza, and then you turn up and it is exactly like that. <laughs> I've never been somewhere that more delightfully uh, aligned itself so clearly to what you had come to love of the sort of exported Italian culture. I really, really enjoyed my time there. So what's next for me then after this uh, Italian experience? Well, the last, I think, three times that I've uh, started a sentence like that with you guys, I have ended up rushing off to go and learn a whole new language. But this time, I actually really want to stick with Italian because I really see Italian being a part of my future. I really see myself using it and speaking it and spending a decent amount of time in Italy. So it's something that I really want to commit to now. So literally right now I'm, I'm in London at the moment, hence the tea. But in just over a week's time now, I think, I'm heading back to Bologna and the plan is to stay there until Christmas. And language wise, I think that's gonna give me a great opportunity to work on my speaking, to do loads of tandems. But in terms of my life, it's also <laughs> quite a sort of big deal because my plan is to um, support this thing completely by um, doing freelance video work for clients in Bologna and through working on my own YouTube channel. This is something that I've never done before. Um, I have, as I've been traveling, picked up occasional bits of freelance video work, but it has never yet been the only way that I put food on the table and don't, you know, die of starvation. <laughs> so it's a little bit scary and I'm slightly nervous about going out there with um, this being my only uh, way to earn money or my only projected way to earn money. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a pretty hectic experience, but hopefully a lot of fun. And it will give me a lot of time to work on my channel as well. I'm planning on hitting um, about one video a week going on this channel. And I will hopefully have lots of time to write some great scripts and put out some really good stuff for you guys on this channel. 
So in fact, I would love to hear what you guys think I could best spend my time doing um, from now until Christmas on these videos. So uh, do leave me a comment and let me know if there's any questions about language learning about Italy or even about um, you know working freelance and doing video stuff. I think all of that stuff, I would love to talk about that in upcoming videos. This is gonna go online on Sunday or Monday, I think, but I'm gonna spend all of next week uh, logging into YouTube all the time and replying to all of your comments. So if you wanna ask me a question about anything, then head down into the comments and write something up for me. Or if you don't have a question, then scroll down and see what others have been asking. But yeah, there we go, that's it. That's the, the last five months of my life and the next um, three and a half. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to what comes next and I'm really looking forward to sharing it all with you guys. So if you're not subscribed already, then click the subscribe button to make sure that you get all of my stuff into your newsfeed on YouTube. For now though, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao ragazzi.